This is a tweet from Tiffany. She wants to know, why are some farts squeaky and others silent? <laughs> so we're gonna answer this. Joined now by proctologist Dr. David Rosenfeld. <laughs> this is a serious <laughs> via, question. Via Skype. <laughs> Dr. Travis, Travis on. You know, Doc, today? I was sitting there. What's our, what's our topic today? <laughs> well, you know what our topic is. You just is. hit it. You know, it's funny. I was looking at, at yeah. the topics for the show, and I read this topic to my wife. And she goes, yeah, why is that? Why yeah. does that happen? Yeah, yeah. So, so no, it's, it's, it's a good it's question. Why and what does it reveal about our health? So this is what you it's do. An amazing question. And this is why I became a proctologist, so I can stay a kid. I told my kids last night, I'm going to be talking about farting tomorrow on the doctors. And they were so excited. I mean, kids <laughs> love this stuff. Adults oh, need to love this stuff. We fart, we fart 15 to 20 times a day. It's normal. When you sneeze, you put out so much gas and pressure, nobody cares. But when we fart, everyone thinks it's something really bad. So we have about seven to 10 liters that enter our colon a day, and only a half a liter comes out. And that's because most is absorbed and breathed out through the lungs. And so when we swallow my air, when we chew gum mm. or use a straw to drink, that builds up a lot of pressure. And I have this doctor's fart balloon, and when you have a lot of air and pressure, it sounds like this. <laughs> now, when the bacteria make gas, they make a lot less gas. Mm. So then you have a silent but deadly, because that gas has a lot of sulfur. <laughs> it is, that's why it's deadly. It has methane, mm -hmm. it has sulfur gas, and it mm. doesn't have much sound. You can't even hear that, but man, when it goes, you don't want to be around. Okay, so, so Dr. Ro so Dr. Rosenfield, I, I have a hot date. What should I eat and not eat to make sure that my right. farts don't smell bad? Eat anything you want. I mean, just, <laughs> just eat anything you want, but, but do your best to hold it in because if you try to squeeze real hard, right, or you have little tags, it's gonna sound like this, <laughs> and they'll know. <laughs> so <laughs> eat what you want. Don't really worry about it. I will tell you, there's no real health issue with farting. If you don't fart or you're bloated, that's a problem. See your doctor. But, but look, you're gonna fart, like you're gonna sneeze in front of them. You might about, as well just. How fart about this for throwing you a curveball? Is right. there any way to tell? You know, you're about to let a squeaker out. Is there right. any way to tell based on how you feel if it's gonna make a noise or not? Because, I mean, you, everyone's been in a situation well, you think where you're you like, it. okay, yep. I think I have this under control. You know, I, I don't well, think anyone's going to know. Is related to sphincter tone that at times yeah. your anal sphincter yeah. is tighter and other times it's, and that's going to determine the sound of the trumpet. <laughs> if you feel that you've got to really let one loose, you know it's going to be loud, and the more you try to squeeze that sphincter, oh. and it, it's going to make that, it's going <laughs> to... And if you open the sphincter, right, if you just let it loose, it's going to sound like that. Yeah. So wow. you just best hold it in and get to it's a place where you can let it out, okay. or just let it out in front of them and just know that's who you are, and hey, we all do it 15 to 20 times a day. All right, so term of the day is sphincter tone, and I guess if you really have to, just excuse yourself from company and do it in the yes. privacy of some Probably corner. Probably the best thing. Yeah. Dr. Rosenfeld, the coolest dad in the world, yeah. gets to go on TV as a doctor and yeah. talk about farts. Love it. Good stuff. <laughs> You know, you don't really think about these things in, mm. until it comes to pass, and it really is hilarious, <laughs> the whole silent but deadly theme. Totally. Until he just explained it, I never truly thought through that, but it does, it makes someone, that's all the bacteria's gas. Totally. I and mean, those are just the, those are the worst farts in the history of the world. Yeah. And it took Rock me a while as a kid to figure out what was going on, because you know, no one in, when, when you're in a house, and, and I grew up in a family with, you know, my sister and my mom, they were never gonna admit it, but in the long car rides, every now and then, it's like, I didn't do it, I would be proud. Like, what just happened? And How does this, and if you're my mom and sister, it, you would've heard it. So yeah. it's, it's what, it's what. Dad, no, I didn't do it.